would like to chant. We can do it. Tada Shiva Samarambam Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryantam Vande Guru Paramparam Shruti Smriti Purananam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Pada Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritav Vande Bhagavantav Punah Punah Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karvavahai Tejasvinavadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Enchant 15 to 18 Yam hi na vyatha yantye te Purusham purusar shabha Samadukha sukham dhiram Somritatvaya kalpate Nāsato vidyate bhāvaha, nābhāvo vidyate sataha, ubhayo rapi drishtontaha, tvanayo statva darshibhihi, avināshitu tad vidhi, yena sarva medantatam, vināsham avyaya syāsya, Nakaschit kartu marhati. So we are on the important portion of seeing the discernment of what is one's true nature and what one believes is one's true nature. Am I loud enough? Clear enough? Yes, Deepthi Ji. All of us have a sense of reality with reference to ourselves and the world around us. It is such an unshaken experience that there is no possibility of a doubt there. Averagely, we are engrossed in identification with our equipments, with our body and our senses. And so the world and ourselves appear to have a sense of reality which is continuing. Whether I as a person continue or not, the world continues and the mix-up seems to be that the world and its existence, I also impose on it a certain reality which is doubtless to me. I have no Sanshaya, I have no question, I have no way of examining if it is true that the world is real. In fact, all my questions will only start because I say the world is real. Therefore, so Vedanta especially 
of all the thoughts that pertain around existence to different systems of knowledge advaita vedanta is the only knowledge system which is able to reduce the plural expression the plurality and its experience of plurality that we have it is able to reduce it to non duality this is the only system of knowledge no other system of knowledge is able to address the plurality and its experience that bhagwan here is bringing it forward a very subtle perception a very subtle knowledge he is bringing it forward to arjuna and to us and is able to convey with the help of of course our sampradaya and all the teachers here who have conveyed this the knowledge there that the principle of reality the experience of reality which is joined in our mind with existence there has to be a defining factor there and what is the defining factor whether it exists in all periods of experience what can be real means it must exist in all period of experience at all times in all avastha desh kal sthiti it should not be limited by it it should be free of time it should be free of space and it should be free of condition causation a reality must stand the test of these conditions that means it must have its independent existence if the existence is not independently established but is established its existence is due to a certain cause its existence is established because of certain condition that existence cannot be called as real an existence which is because of karan hai uska kuch jiske karan se ye hai the example we took was shastra gives us traditional example ghata pot when we see a pot immediate perception is pot hai ghata asti when you see a ghata do you say ghata nasti nasti you can't say that your perception is validating the existence of an object which you can touch you can feel you can see you can tak tak here that ghata bhav 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 means uske hone ka pratyay impression that you carry with you that you have an experience of ghata bhav is it self existent we start our inquiry from that question is it self existent on examination we realize this ghata is not self existent it has come from its material cause it has come from it's intelligent cause it is a modified product the cause is clay that clay cut up before it is formed in the clay 
when you just see a heap of clay that ghatta do you see in clay no ghatta before it came into creation into existence as i feel it has prior to it its state what is its state prior to the perception of ghatta prior to that it has abhavah ghatta is not there ghatta abhavah prak abhavah previous absence what will establish that ghatta is real or not is sat or not has to be nityam is it nityam no because before state of its existence before the state of the existence of ghata ghata nasti ghata is not there then once it is destroyed again prak pradvams abhavah on destruction it is again not there you can't see it what cannot be seen before in its previous condition before it was formed and what also cannot be seen later after its modified condition its destruction what is not existent before and after prak abhavah after pradvams toda tuta broken again ghata abhavah somebody said to explain these two terms again so i am explaining it again so what is there before not seen then you are seeing it and then later again not seeing it that is one condition one state of experience compared to that compared to ghata we have to now examine ghata is not seen at all times in all conditions everywhere ghata has a limitedness it has desh kala avastha parichinnatvam it is limited by these three that it is limited by desh kala avastha this ghatta on examination what is its karan if it is not always seen that means kahin se aaya hai examine the cause when you start examining the cause you say oh what was before the pot was clay what is there after the pot clay what is there during the pot clay what has avastha in all the three states of existence clay therefore karana satyam karyam asat here in the context mithya karan is satna and karyam is asat mithya because it just was there temporarily and did not have an independent existence that clay is it also swatah independent existent no as we keep going back and back and back and back and back is ka we as average individuals we do not have that vichara shakti we don't have that bundle of information 
we don't have that deep penetrative observation of nature if any one of us has deep penetrative observational capacity then vyakti you can take out the inference from there you can clearly see you can discern rather you can you are able to discern that all karyam reduces into karanam and that karanam itself is a karyam of another karanam this much even science has figured out every effect has a cause but that cause itself is an effect of some other cause but there is a karya karana sambandha the whole jagat seems to be having a relation of a cause and effect of all of this is getting reduced to its karanam to its karanam to its karanam then the question arises is it infinitum you go on reducing reducing will it ever conclude yes it concludes where does it conclude that's what he is now started to explain there is one sat avastha there is only one karanam which is swata siddham it does swata siddham means it does not have another karanam it is not a karyam swata siddh hai apne aap se it is established swata siddh means by understanding that it does not have a preceding karanam and it is self existent it is not a karyam it is not an effect it has not come about because of a cause that's swataha siddh vedanta tells us is here perceivable experienced forever yes with the help of an object you recognize it but it is also free of the object and it is ever existent and how do you know that he says buddhi vishaya it is a buddhi vishaya what vishaya means topic object for example what is this pen pen that's it that's reynolds ball pen <laughs> okay pen this complete the sentence so just can't say what is it then you say pen han ji a writing instrument a pen okay a blue pen a blue pen okay very good. blue and white correct okay. at the moment you can't see the cap i think so capless blue and white renolds you can go on multiplying that the properties or what description of this but what is your for writing take what is your plastic very good what is your what do you see asad when you said pen rest were all descriptions pen pen what is pen an object tpg an object of at this point for you something of drishti right so of your drishti isn't it it is an object at the moment of your drishti because you can't smell it you can't hear if i do this you can just what i guess hear it but it's an object of your drishti pen is what is this diary okay notebook or book book yeah a book this is a geeta okay 
and we are thinking of it as an object of our dhruti and not looking in deeper into it okay glasses clip पंजिंग What do you see? What we know. Okay. Headphones. You can't see. Headphones. 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 Oh, sorry. Facebook can't see. I did not bring myself forward today. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, I just changed one object to another object. I forgot to bring myself forward in the screen. Let me try again. I'll just reshare. I have forgotten also how. Ah, here it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hopefully now you will see. So I was just changing the objects. So la last object is this. Now. what happened in your perception we'll go through it quickly objects changed objects changed ah let's go through it quickly i'm shifting one to another okay uh, whatever you can see i'm sorry i can't do anything better than this now okay something right can all see right Kuch what is going ra. on what is going on in your your you are thinking objects are changing but but it's coming and going correct and when you say this is a pen Listen to your own words. क्या हो रहा है इस perception में? Yes, okay, very good. That's another way of saying it. In all of these, the hand did not change, but the objects changed. All right, <laughs> so that's right. But the hand is also moving. अब है अब नहीं है दिख रहा है पेन इज आई मेक इट शॉर्ट नाउ आई एम होल्डिंग हैज एन चेंज करेक्ट आई एम होल्डिंग हैज एन चेंज वेरी क्लोज यस दैट आई एम होल्डिंग समथिंग हैज एन चेंज बट इफ यू लुक एट एन ऑब्जेक्ट देर इज टू 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 थिंग्स है बट सी because we are so conditioned ki humko pen ek hi object dikhta hai pen hai what i just explained in the beginning of the class is hai real existence all of this is centered around the pen hai but okay the material cause is plastic is this really a pen why most of us in vedanta do not get a breakthrough is because we are not able to discern in actuality is this pen just a name a form 
can I see it separate from its name and form? Where will I see it separate from its name and form? How do I establish that this pen is real? Just because I saw it, just because I touch it, just because I feel it, we say it is real. Shastra Vidya is, in fact, because you feel it, you see it, you touch it, it is Mithya. Because you are dependent dependent on This is plastic. Plastic is another set of molecules. It's a chemical compound. It is again go. It has a karanam. But when you saw the objects change, pen hai, clip hai, specs hai, etc. There was one Vyabhicharati Buddhi quickly changing. As the object Nama Rupa changed, the other object in front of my cognition, ye hai ab. And then that changed, whatever was in front, this is it now. There was one changing element of my perception and there was one changeless object of my perception. Correct. One changing and one changeless. Did we see that transition? That isness, hey, 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 hey. And then very beautifully, yes, if you say it was held in my hand, my hand was relatively changeless in that but and hey that hairness that asti asti is the word that asti is ever 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 changeless and recognizable nature of a perception which is non-separate it is Swata Siddham non-separate from actually the entire world reduces into it because the entire world reduces into I me Mera Hat that means heart has got reduced to me. And that me is further going to reduce to is me permanent? Is that me also discernible? So what is ever there? needs to be discerned compared to what we think is there, what we believe is there, but on examination we see it is temporarily there. It's not got a permanent existence. Anything outside that I perceive as a it's a very beautiful Viveka. The minute I say hey and my drishti goes outside in my understanding, ye hai, wo hai, aisa hai, vesa, all that hairness that is externally perceived, all that external perception is non separate. Where do you see the entire ex external perception? Your idea is it's external to me. But it is actually a very non, it is reducible, non-separate means it gets reduced to me. And this me, 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 which is steady, me hu, is to ye jagat hai. That me hu is also 
discernible further into what into one may which is seemingly ever changing it has a karta it is now a karta when i'm doing it is now a talker when i'm talking if you're listening you're a listener that may seems to also have its own qualifications but may without qualification the word qualification means it's independent that may can exist independent of all this world jagat that an adhishthan that in english it's substratum but it's not truly just the substratum it is that which pervades wo sat hai what is its 16th verse said it is impossible for sat to ever have disappearance destruction because if it has what you discern as sat supposing on in upanishad there will be no, there will be a viveka that comes uh, if you say um, any object and you say ye hai so you go examine acha this is sat according to me and then the teacher says go back understand and then you look up further back and you say no 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 wait even this seems to have a dependence today as i said our thinking doesn't penetrate very deeply we are too involved in the external and the uh, external world and with the senses and bhokta and so that shant manaha vichar manaha eludes us almost because maximum we can go along is along with what the shastra tells us but if you go on looking observing you realize that this srishti entirely what i'm calling as the world the jagat where is it that i can culminate it to say now it is self existent everything that will have a vyabhichar it will go through change but this something abhav hai nahi it can never what by definition if it has an above that means what is it Asa. what i thought was anitya anitya it is as much as saying that it is mithya so you look at the flow in which bhagwan is addressing so far arjuna's concern and his emotional dilemma if is brought him to the point of tattva darshan what is that the very just taking an anuvritti just taking a recap again quickly in the 11th verse bhagwan tells arjuna eh, you are not wise 12th verse he tells him what is wisdom true wisdom by telling him what is atma the one who knows atma is truly a wise person is truly the one who is knowing all other knowledge is only conditional knowledge it's not a real knowledge it's an it's a mithya gyanam mithya gyanam will always bring samsara will always create confusion mithya gyanam will always create sense of not complete there will be some incompleteness felt that is mithya gyanam so what was atma he says in the 12th verse then 13th verse he said those who know that nature of atma i am not explaining the verses this is the thought that is going is what i am saying the verses have been explained in details already you extract the thought you extract the the essence of the verse he says those who actually know the tattva gyan those who have the tattva darshan those who are truly wise these 
wise people are not confused people they don't have confusion they can see the nature of what is atma and how atma is the supportive of all that is seen it's supportive of it and all that is seen or experienced has to always be by nature fleeting therefore the wise person just has out of knowledge and understanding has an inner automatic as if there is an understanding has led to an automatic development of pratiksha if you are identified with the knowledge you will not resist the outer world if you have identified with the understanding the knowledge that sat is real then the external world and its changes you will accommodate what has to be done you will do but you will accommodate the tiksha will be a natural swabhav it's a natural outcome of understanding because you know things what can be changed and what are absolutely going to go through its own cycle and you cannot change them therefore forbear it then he said the what is the gain of that forbearance said such ones who are the wise ones are dhiraha and they have agama apainaha they have the tiksha such wise ones who remain the same in sukha and dukha they have amritatvam they gain amritatvam amritatvam a state of non death what is that state of non death he explained that now in the 16th verse and that state is sat that sat and its knowledge that pure existence real existence what is sat which has absolutely no destruction it cannot change it cannot be destroyed knowing that versus what will change so when there is an example of a rope and a snake examining it what is that which can be destroyed the word is destroyed here what can be destroyed when you see a snake is snake real if you have to say to examine if snake is real what do you have to do test it is good to see if it can have prak uh, pradvam sabhava will it exist on its destruction that perception of snake if i try and change it is a changeable perception then you realize that it is mithya gyanam so one that is constant changeless and the other that is constantly changing snake is a seen drishyam but it is not real water on sand is drishyam but it is not real you can't drink it you can't quench your thirst with it because you can experience it a person in a in a in a desert who has who's quenching uh, who's um, thirsty and he sees water happiness felt anand aayega snake dekh ke dal lagega pani dekh ke bahut anand aayega you will feel bhagwan has been extraordinarily uh, kind on you today anugrah bhagwan's anugrah because i can see water there will that water quench the thirst it can't why because go closer to water and the water recedes now you can see water on the other end you go closer again the water recedes that water is not real 
and for a one who is in the desert for him to do that viveka is extremely difficult that is how they roam and roam and roam and finally they collapse because they think it is there but that mohit that happens that imposition that has happened that cannot be discerned easily because to break that imposition you have to see whether it continues or not and that is an inner correction so he said in the 16th verse both the fact both the facts that sat will never go out of existence sat always remains and asat will never come into existence uska bhav roop hai hi nahi snake does not have a bhav roop water does not have a bhav roop it's a very important thing to understand its reality is not established even though it is felt oh bhav roop is the right word uska bhav hai hi nahi स्नेक दिख रहा है बट स्नेक है नहीं इट डजेंट हैव अग्जिस्टेंस भाव रूप नहीं है एग्जैक्टली द सेम वे एंड दिस इज वेर वी ऑल गेट स्टक बिकॉज दैट एक्स्ट्रा पोलेशन एग्जाम्पल समझ में आ जाता है बट दैट एक्स्ट्रा पोलेशन इज वेर वी गेट स्टक बिकॉज इट रिक्वायर्स लॉट्स ऑफ लेयर्स ऑफ डीपर थिंकिंग exactly the same way this entire jagat has no bhavarup it is only seen because there is atma it is seen in atma and it also gets destroyed in atma ghata is seen exists because of clay is seen because of clay and when it's destroyed it is in clay it was never separate from clay uska alag bhav tha hi nahi kabhi bhi and everything in creation that we experience as real and separate distinct everything that we recognize as hey 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 ye wo you know this list in our mind that's why the right word is the world is pluralistic you cannot define it into one or two it has lots of species it has it has uh, it has jati it has varna it has categories you can categorize it in a lot of ways you can categorize it in the manner of physics you can categorize it in chemistry chemically you can categorize it nuclearly you can categorize in whichever way you want one of the manans that i always encourage those at least who have the knowledge of a little balaji or it's fascinating that you can see the same body in terms of biology you can see the same body in terms of chemicals you can see the same body in terms of matter elements you can see it in terms of say how ayurveda would see in terms of its own um what the pit or whatever categories same object alag tarike se dekha nazariya dekha badla to object ka description badal gaya is the same object that you can categorize what can be categorized in so many ways which of the way will be real are all of them real is this point clear so when you go to get your blood test done what are they all giving you parameters this calcium there is this there is this it is ye kam hai ye zyada hai blah 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 and when you go to a a, a physician or go to another person 
they see your body in terms of um, cells, muscles, nerves, organs. How many ways will you describe the body? And most superficially, how do we look at the body? Most superficially. If you don't have physics, chemistry, biology, all these knowledges to give you the base of how do you look at the body? How do you look at the body? Am I? You can't hear me. As in you, you look at it from the perspective of your parts of the body, like you know. Most superficially, how do you look at the body? Myself. As, me, as, as myself, but how? Can you ever see yourself objectively? Do you see yourself objectively? Two characters. Oh. You're always self-judging. Even a body is self-judged. That fact remaining that the body is not even real. Kitna hai ye sharir? Sat hai kya? What is sat then? Agar ye sati nahi hai, ye pura ka pura, to isse vyavhar jo chal raha hai, what is that? Okay. All of this in one chunk. All of this in one chunk. It's not degrees. It's not how you know you have the sunrise in the morning and sunset in the evening. That dire dire sun, you can see that redness on the horizon and then suddenly sun is beaming. The entire chunk of existence that we call as existence and real, individuality based, the entirety, not a speck here, is real. It's all temporary, it's all mithya. And that ends it. What is Satyam? Mithya cannot exist by itself. It's not self-existent. So what gives lens existence to it? The questioning should be in the direction of what is lending existence to this world and me as an individual? That what is lending the existence, we have an easy answer of course, Atma. But to recognize it as ever existent needs vichar. So yes, supposing you say that this, for me the snake has become non-existent but others see the snake. This is a Brahma of vichar. Excellent. Good. Someone brings it up. If you say from others' standpoint, they can still see the world. The examination in Vedanta is only from your standpoint. Are you seeing the other seeing the world in your sleep? Supposing like, uh, say you, you saw the ghatta, you left a glass of water by your bedside table and you slept off. You say, no, but my partner is seeing the glass of water. Are you seeing in your sleep, your partner is seeing the glass of water? Your partner is also not there. How, why do people get, get so 
inspired by this knowledge why are people ready to dedicate their whole life in the pursuit of atma vidya is because it's because you realize there cannot be another truth other than knowing myself as atma and this atma is brahman till i figure this out till i understand this till i recognize this fact everything else is a seeming fact so since nothing else when i sleep the whole world may be nahi hu so where is the question of a snake or a pot nobody nothing and that is the most subtle point because if you say that the glass was there before i slept and after i wake up therefore it must have been in the same place that is the reason why i see it again the fact that the glass seen was not always seen in sleep also makes it mithya we are not saying that the object is unreal like the horns on a rabbit's head the world is not unreal like that but while the glass disappeared when i was asleep atma did not disappear when i was asleep a very big statement and a huge leap in one's inner growth this is how these tattva darshis become extremely they develop their agyam also because of it and they have this you know you you deal with the world easily why this knowledge is required by everybody this is the only way you can deal the world objectively when that perception is held yahan pe kuch hai hi nahi itna satya so what needs to be done just do tang in cheek as we said nothing more nothing less needs to be given value i hope all the questions have been answered so far is there any doubt anyone i've tried to just summarize all two three questions that had were there taken the <coughs> तो प्राक अभाव इज एक्सिस्टेंस बिफोर एंड प्रदम इज आफ्टर डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड वॉट डज इन हैव अभाव वॉट इज इट दैट इज इन वॉट हैज अभाव नो आई मीन भाव इट डज इन हैव भाव Uh, right i meant a bhav ha ah, okay ha ah, okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so ah. what is it in between like when i am seeing the pot what is it then that's not bhav it's no. not or is it a bhav no it is a a mithya bhav it is a bhav sure enough but you cannot call it that it is satyam and you cannot call it that it is not there that it is a haini matlab i don't see a pot only when you are seeing it and you are saying i don't see a pot then definitely a psychiatric treatment so then what is that third that is why i said you the third category was required to be introduced as a prakriti to help us discern what is real and what is and so asat if you just take it as hai hi nahi then the whole world will will be disappearing everybody will say then what is left kuch hai hi nahi yahan pe the defeatist attitude but you cannot say that what i'm seeing is not there but it is not but there in reality that reality experience of it needs to be corrected it is mithya it is temporary and it doesn't have an independent existence so when i am able to see the current of it 
that karan will automatically help in the correction of what i am saying okay um, question clear i think uh yeah bhavna your questions answered also i think so here that you do not see another person all right so let's move to the next verse now so far he's continuing with it what is it what is that sat little more on it avinashi tu tat vidhi yena sarvam idam tatam vinasham apyasya asya न कश्चित कर्तुम अर्हति व्हाट इज दिस सत नाउ मोर क्लैरिटी ऑन इट इफ यू अदर देन डूइंग दिस what is tat tat we said cannot be destroyed cannot be born cannot be destroyed is nityam <coughs> krishna says know that tat which is avinashi avinashi means na vinashtum shilam asya iti ashikar has given the definition na vinashtum shilam it doesn't have the nature of destruction it cannot be destroyed that is called avinashi that by which whose nature it cannot be destroyed indestructible is avinashi tu tat vidhi no this how yena by which sarvam idam tatam sarvam all what all this whatever you categorize as this tatam is vyaptam bhagwan bhashikara here is giving us the meanings sarvam idam is jagat tatam is vyaptam what is vyapt tata by word actually means vistare tan vistare vistare means jo spread hai that which is spread in english you say pervades phaila hua hai kisse phaila hai tat vyaptam what is that tat which is vyapt tat tat is avinashi now sat is vyapt also called brahmanaha means brahman this vyapta has a particular way of discerning gold an ornament we said ornament is 
Okay, let me stick to ghata and pata. Us, uh, ghata and uh, brit. Ghata is karyam. It is never separate from its karanam, clay. So, what is clay in relation to ghata? Vyakt pervades ghata. It is encompassing ghata. It is actually only ghata. Ornament and gold. Gold is vyapt hai. Vyapt has two ways of seeing it. One is when you say, uh, like example they give, when you have an iron and you heat it on a very hot hot temperature you make it very hot and it becomes red what is fire in iron entirely braced it embraced it there's no part of iron which doesn't have fire in it it's entirely like that so there there is one pervading the other but when you see a cause and an effect, then the cause pervades the effect and will never, never be that it is not pervasive. It is In hearing it. So what is Sat? Now if you understand this, Sat is something which is pervading. It is Avinashi. It is Nityam. It is the very nature of all beings. Changeless there. And know this Jagat, he is telling Arjuna, that this whole experience of the world, including Sakasham, including Akash, space. What is the relation of space with reference to all the objects in space? You cannot. All pervasive. All pervasive. Because, why? Because? Because it's the cause. It. And? The substratum. Correct. Supports. Because you cannot see an object outside space. Can you think this space and uske bahar ek object hai? All objects are in space. They're all dependent on space. But space is not dependent on the objects. Space seems to be self-existent. Seems to be. It doesn't get affected by fire on the planet. It doesn't get affected by the volcano. It doesn't get affected by the floods. It doesn't get affected by earthquakes. Space doesn't get affected by the diseases. It doesn't get affected by population. Space doesn't get affected by the planets, by pralaya, prabhava, big bang. Everything's happening in space. Akash. This word is Akash. Sa Akasham. Just as Akash seems to be all pervasive compared to the objects, the entire Jagat, also very important, and that's a self correction through knowledge. Akashena Iva Ghata Dayaha. Just as the space 
with reference to a pot also what is in a pot space pot space what do you think when you see a pot because it has space you use it if it didn't have space why would you use a pot pot as if has a space enclosed by the wall of the pot but really speaking that space which seems to be inside is not separated by the wall of the pot is inside and outside the pot wall are not separate the wall of pot therefore must be mitya just as rope is pervading the snake gold is pervading the ornament so the weight of the ornament the design of the ornament the name and form of the ornament this is a bangle this is a necklace all of that that you are seeing as real is actually what it's, it's a very interesting exercise i don't know if i can share on a blank paper let me try on a blank paper there this what is all this it's just a blank paper can you people see the blank paper on the facebook yes dtg we can see okay i'm not on the facebook ah here i think i can ah now you can and just drawing i'll have to learn how to do this this is just a plain paper okay. absolutely plain paper let me draw something i'll try and uh, share this again as i'm drawing what is happening to the paper pardon my drawing it's getting filled it is getting filled okay wherever you are drawing the base of the paper is not visible correct okay and your the paper is pervading your drawing ah absolutely can't share it um, see this that perception is the right perception uh one minute let me try again i don't want you people to miss it how do you do this Share the whole app, then you should share, no? I'm going to try. If it doesn't, then we'll just skip it. I'm sure you've got the message anyway. 
but you can't see the board. The minute I do the board, you can't see it. Okay, we'll keep it. You got the message. On a plain paper, plain paper. What do you see? Ah, you can draw anything. All of you can draw something or the other. That makes it a creation now. Yeah, what I was just testing it. <laughs> ah, that's okay. So that is what makes it a creation. If you just keep, if you just draw anything on it, <laughs> if you draw anything on it, the point is of what is happening to the paper. Paper is already being seen. In this context, paper is seen, is visible. Paper is not out of your sight in this context. But because of the drawing that you're making, where is your attention first? Drawing. Uh -huh. drawing. Uh -huh. But can you have a drawing without the paper there? No. No. But when you're looking at the drawing, do you have the perception of the paper? Yes. After you've been told. If you yeah. think about now it. Now we have. If you think carefully only then, otherwise you'd get lost in the drawing. Exactly. Now, because we have the information now, now we are looking at it. Now the question is, Oh, I can separate it also. As I re remove it, ah. Nobody can figure out where the rubber is gone. You can clear the whole board in options. Or do you want to just delete some part of it? Some part. Oh. Cleared it. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, it's all gone. gone. Anyway, we've all come back to self now. But if you just were to remove one part of it, as you keep drawing and as you keep undrawing, what remained? Paper. I. That is what the Bhagavad Gita is saying. Plain paper. I'm just repeating for those who couldn't see. Plain paper. Draw. Anything. We drew a ghatta. A pot. As you draw a pot, there is a pot vritti associated with it and now start to realize that actually the wall of the pot the point is that what you drew and the wall of the pot is it separating the paper yes sort of the PG, yes is it separating the paper? Not really, but it makes no. us feel like that. But it is not separating the paper. No, but it not. makes us feel like that. That is what he said here. Ghata dayaha iva. The space in the pot and the space outside the pot are actually not affected. The wall of the pot is not separating the space. So all of us, all the objects in the world are like are the like, same are like, the are like the walls of the pot. We seem to be animated 
here. Animated walkie talkie dolls, we are. Chabid by our karma. How much chabi has each doll got? As much chabi, so much it will show its walkie talkiness. This sharir here seems to have liveliness, characteristic, individuality. Tabid by karma. And then, fact remains, it is like the wall of the pot. It is seen as so important and real, as reality, but of what nature is the reality? Discerning that, he says, understand that Sat is that paper. However much you will draw on it, you can only draw if there is a paper. And you can however much draw and remove and draw and remove and draw. That Sat will always be however much Janma Janmantara as he said, keep changing your Deha, Dehantara Praptihi. That Sat Atma, to be able to recognize that, says one feature will be other than Nityam, it is Vyaptam. Karan, Sid, Swata Siddh Karan is Vyaptam, Phaila Hua Hai. All drawings, what is Vyaptam? Paper. Why? Because you cannot have a drawing without the paper. But you can have a paper without the drawing. But you cannot have a drawing without the paper. Atma can be existent without the name and the form, the individual, the Jagat. But the name and the form, the individual, the Jagat cannot have existence outside other than Atma. Therefore, if my individuality has a con conflict, who am I? What is my true nature? If I have fear of death, if I have fear of loss, if I have the gain of something makes me feel punam, some object, something I desired and I cherished and after a lot of hard work, I got it. I became the Prime Minister of India, huh. UN. I became the President of UN. God, man. Oh no, I, I became a space scientist and I went to moon. Now I'm going to Mars. Lot of accomplishment. Lot of accomplishment. But all that accomplishment is what on the paper? Just a drawing. Just a drawing. All of that is in Sat. As if in Sat. That in word itself has a lot of correction to do. It is dependent on Sat. It is because of Sat that I can do all this. If that presence is not there, that presence, ever presence of me, if that presence is not there, which is like white paper or in the example, if that presence of me is not there, none of this is there. The one who knows this, he was a Tattvadarshi. Sat tab abhav nahi hoga. Asat tab bhavi nahi hoga. It is not possible for a drawing to exist without the paper. 
it needs its substratum and that substratum doesn't mean it is a it's a you know our idea of a substratum is like the tree and something that grows on it adhikaran and adhisthan means something that is holding at the bottom and there is something on top of it it's like you know can you see can you see what is the this? tree under the glass the tree under the glass Last so what is glass. a tree what is all a tree pervading. all pervading tree here the word will be atma what is the glass resting on the tray adhi adhikar adhikar so the glass is seemingly giving i'm sorry the tray is seemingly giving the support to the glass so is the tray like the earth and the glass is the atma ulta what is earth getting support from oh right okay so that adhikaran that adhisthan we have the idea like a glass and a tree prithvi and all of us means kuch niche hai hum uske upar hai but what this verse clarifies is adhisthan is vyaptam paper is vyaptam paper is the adhisthan of all the drawing and it inheres the drawing clay is vyaptam to all objects made of it not just a pot a doll a clay doll so diti ji same way it could be tatva that uh, the body is made of and the body right correct that's that is the extraction to be made perfect so what is a body actually uh it's made up of tatva which tatva five air water okay elements okay and the tatva is based where what is adhikaran of tatva brahman sat in this context brahman sat called brahman sat called brahman as i said this portion of the gita clearly defines sat nowhere in the upanishads also this analysis will come so we are trying to stick to the analysis as as changing it would mean you will change the whole angle from like body or looking at it from physics or from biology the sat clarity should be there there is dve buddhi in every perception there is two cognitions a cognition which is changing and a cognition which is changeless for a real serious student of brahma vidya i would say not just vedanta someone who wants to, this is a line for reflection for life why we need our quiet why we need our withdrawal why we need to we need our practices why everything is only supportive of this one fact to be able to observe the changing and the changeless because they are both happening here the changeless is also here and the changing is also a vritti that i see so he says this entire wherever up to whichever point idam idam means this this means the, your capacity to objectify something the entire idam idam they uh, in they would say jahan tak aap idam phaila sakte ho whatever you can call as this in your experience this and that another analysis is this and that that becomes further off this becomes closer however whatever you can call him as idam 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 
which is jagat that is tat that is vyaptam that is brahman and what is that real vyaptata mean it is like ghata daya sa akasham like space cannot be divided by the wall of the pot that brahman remains indivisible indestructible by anything and everything that it supports then he says in the next line vinasham avyayasya asya this is na kashchit kartum arhati na vinasham kashchit kartum arhati nobody can kashchit kartum koi kar hi nahi sakta kya nahi kar sakta it is not possible arhati you cannot do vinash destruction of this why because it is abhyaya this is abhyaya the sat is abhyaya and what is abhyaya jiska vyaya nahi hai jiska vikar nahi hai jiska vyabhichar nahi hai which cannot be modified which cannot be changed by nature it is changeless it is abhyaya which cannot go through a process of vyaya vyaya means badalna in which manner he says avyaya means na vyati sorry this example na vyati what is na vyati upachaya apachaya na yati it cannot expand it cannot contract it cannot be gained it cannot be lost na yati it cannot go to these changes what cannot have changes in it is avyayam that avyayam is this atma brahman called brahman called sat which pervades everything because it is of the nature that it cannot be changed therefore he says here vibicharati niravayatvat it has not no parts what changes means it is divisible it has parts what is a body it is not it is made up of parts therefore there is vaya dehadivat like a body has parts atma is partless therefore it doesn't have change body they, this is an unlike example unlike the body what is atma vailakshya dharam to sharir to deh jiska dharam usse bilkul alag hai deh ka dharam kya hai it has where as ages body ages body has its where change na kashchit kartum arhati then he says no one can destroy this atma na kashchit atmanam vinashaitum shaknoti for nobody is it possible to destroy and this is shankara and that is why i thoroughly enjoy this shankara adds one line one word here ishvara api even ishvara cannot destroy this what is arjuna's concern who will get this what is arjuna's concern that will destroy that he will people he will lose people he will lose everything in the war in this and that they will die and they are so precious to him and that they will die okay that is one aspect what is his other concern in this context vinashay tum shaknoti na ishvara api cannot destroy what is he feeling why was he feel i am destroying my people that he is absolutely that he is going to be killing them main marunga inko main main inki mrityu karne wala hu that he feels i am destroying my people i will kill them what is bhagwan telling him na kashchit kartum arhat no body can kill atma and body 
कैन नॉट बी इटर्नल बॉडी हैज टू डाय एंड आत्मा कैन नॉट डाय ईश्वर अपी कैन नॉट किल इट आत्मा ही ब्रह्मा दिस आत्मा इज ओनली ब्रह्मन स्वात्मनी वन जोन आत्मन इट्स नॉट समबडी एल्स इज इट्स नॉट आउटसाइड इट इज नॉट बियॉन्ड वाई कुंठा एंड कैलाश इट इज नॉट अनादर प्लेस इन हेवन इट इज नॉट अनादर प्लेस इन स्पेस स्व आत्मनी इट इज योर ओन आत्मा इट इज यू योर सेल्फ एंड क्रिया विरोधार्थ इट हैज एब्सोल्युटली no activity possible this he will expand later on also atma doesn't do anything so if you think i am killing the people but atma has no kriya in it then my bhav that i am killing is that would that's what lead to my karma to my prarabdh so my bhav that i am killing is also wrong he is not killing anybody so that wrong word would be asamithya asamithya it's a wrong thinking correct it's not an accurate you are acting you are going yes through you the you are fighting a war you are bound to kill people but to say that i am killing and the opposite of it is if i do a good karma correct if i am doing a good karma then i will enjoy the fruit that will also I, be mithya I, that will also be mithya so punya and pap entire realm of karma is only centered around individual so individual because they feel i will suffer therefore i should not suffer therefore let me take care of karma it's not wrong it is not like horns on a rabbit it has a relative significance but it is not absolutely correct therefore you are existent beyond the realm of your karma atma is unaffected by punyam and papam and atma is yourself so who is affected by punyam and papam the jiva the jiva buddhi now see how bring everything down to buddhi buddhi means cognition your jivatvam is your cognition it is your buddhi it is your perception of yourself bhagwan has demolished it actually smashed it says you are atma all this vyavaharik satta which is presupposing your jivatvam jivatva buddhi your self perception your self cognition of yourself as an individual all of this is nothing but asat mithya that nobody can destroy so avinashi tu tat vidhi know that avinashi by which all this is pervaded that avinashi that tat is sat know that sat to be avinashi vinasham avyayasya na kashchit kartum arhati it is not possible for anyone to destroy sat because sat is abhyaya it cannot 
be destroyed. It cannot be changed because state of destruction means what was ghata? Is ghata avinashi? No, it can be destroyed. It can be destroyed. What is deha? Is it avinashi? It can be destroyed. What is jivatvam? Is it avinashi? No, it can be destroyed. It can be this. It can end. Jivatvam can end. And for Jivatvam to end, only thing that will help is, that is why he adds, no Kriya will help. No Karma will help. To end Jivatvam, what will end Jivatvam? Atma, recognizing that you are Atma. Atma. Vidya, Brahma Vidya. So Brahma Vidya, Atma Vidya alone can destroy Jivatva. Because that Vidya, that Brahman, anyway is pervading Jivatva. Clay is anyway pervading the pot. So agar wo pot toot bhi gya, so who cries for the loss of the clay? No grief. So there is no grief for the wise one. The one who has the clay drishti in the pot sees that the clay just did not get destroyed. Pot is destroyed. Pot will be born again. Pot can be created again. In the same way, Jivatva, who is destroying? Atma Vidya will destroy Jivatva. No karma, no upasana, no nothing will help. But karma and upasana will help to bring us to the point of appreciating Tattvasat. So they are indirect measures, but the direct attacking factor on Jivatvam is only Brahma Vidya. What will cancel the sense of Jiva Bhav and seeing it as Mithya is only the knowledge of Atma. Karma, Upasana can only help me to arrive at that point. But they will not have any direct relation, causation between my recognition of Atma or my destruction of Jiva Bhav is not an effect of any karma and therefore not an effect of Upasana. Bhagwan ko bhi agar baat, to you Bhagwan will also take you to actually an Advaita Guru. Established, if you have done a lot of upasana and earned a lot of punyam and anugraha, Bhagavan, that's what Krishna is going to tell Arjuna also. He can only take you to the point of hearing the one who can educate, who can tell you who you are with the help of the prakriya. That is all that Bhagavan can also do. Anugraha can bring. After that, it will have to be. Atma Anugraha, your own Anugraha on your own self, which is in the form of Nitya Anitya Viveka Vichar. The first part of Sadhana Chakrishtayam, Viveka Buddhi, Sat Asat Buddhi. Okay, so let's end here. Jiva is just a thought, yes. It is a perception, yes. Absolutely. Okay, any question or we will continue tomorrow. Is it clear? Because the topic is really subtle. Samaj mein hai? Yes. Aarai Samaj. So, Deepti ji, is it fair to say that uh, we are studying Atma Vidya because of whatever Anugraha we have earned and probably found a teacher like you? Will it be fair to say that? Yeah.
it is fair to say that wherever vedanta in the real sense sampradaya with vedanta is there sampradaya with means it is a lot of anugraha there is no doubt on the very transaction that this knowledge is taking place this is a product of a lot of anugraha there is no doubt about that because it is actually a very very rare combination it is very very rare we may say there are so many classes there is so much of knowledge everywhere in the world etc etc especially the bhagavad gita is so spread and rampant but a mumukshu when there is a desire to know atma vidya is truly a blessing in it's a it's a culmination of human purushat because it will now culminate itself into just dissolution of what is wrong what is mithya so it is anugraha for sure there is no doubt about it knowledge transaction is an anugraha anywhere everywhere in fact our puranas tell us puranas and this is now not totally knowledge based but puranas have stories you know they bind the whole thought and give us the lubricate lubricating emotions and thoughts that are necessary they say wherever there is a vedanta actual vichar going on wherever there is a topic of vedanta is getting discussed on bhuloka even the gods in heavens are desperate to hear it that's how puranas put it to convey to us how precious actually the opportunity is to learn this knowledge and it is rare to to you know the, the teacher and student combination is as rare as finding you know a, a good partner in life it's 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 a rare thing having a so if someone finds anyone it doesn't fall easily there are people who have found their teachers at the first time there are people who struggle to find teachers for the rest of their life you just can't relate and sometimes we just relate straight away so it, all this is somewhere probably in the realm of ishwara anugraha that's why we leave it to ishwara anugraha it comes like that you know like like we often say a doctor knows this uh, just as you know every doctor ha- a, a patient has his, as if a doctor written you know actors say that every script has a have, has a actor written in it doctor also knows a patient has his doctor written that's something with the knowledge it though looks very but atma vidya is is very very precious so yes we can only be very very thankful that there is an opportunity to dwell on this because once you hear this we get the opportunity to reflect on it that makes us independently reflective very clear and that itself puts us on the cycle of earning anugraha do you get that point once we are on it we we learn we hear that itself adds up the anugraha so that's how it culminates into the perception holds it sure deep thank you so tomorrow we'll continue the class and uh, we can conclude prayer मंगल सुखिवे सू निरामे भद्रा पश्य जस्ट रिपीटिंग माई सेल्फ इन केस पीपल डू नॉट नो इट द क्लासेस आर नो लॉन्गर गेटिंग अपलोडेड फॉर नाउ ऑन द यूट्यूब चैनल 
they are all on the website deeptevishnath.in in a, for about a month the class will remain and then they'll keep getting recycled so whoever has to follow you will have to listen to the recording over there and simultaneously I'll, there'll be an audio recording kept separately uh, also and i also want to know everybody accesses their emails right yes deepthi ji yes deepthi ji i'm just making that announcement so that everybody yes deepthi ji in touch with the email and uh, for now we are just doing that much we'll see if any need comes further to form a whatsapp group or any other group at this point i don't think there is any need at all because truly speaking uh, vedanta is a very very individualized learning yes a group helps uh, exchange of ideas help but they only help when there is some maturity of your you know otherwise it's just another interactive process so idea is to learn and be be with be with yourself it's different it's different from everything else and i am taking care to emphasize on this because i completely believe knowledge has to make us come to us that's the purpose so you know too much of excess is not needed so it's a part of the discipline if it helps we will do it we are not resistant if it will help it will be done but at this point this and everybody to your best capacity just keep going over the verses chanting reading even if you have difficulty follow the channel to this channel follow any other channel that you are identifying with and just learn the gita chanting the verse word samskar opens up trust me how ever many times you do every time even now if you look at just the moolam the 15th time you look at just the moolam you feel are ye word maine abhi tak kabhi notice nahi kiya tha kya how much chanting one would have done that tu you know avinashi tu tad vidhi and you realize why have i never looked at the word tu before and how many times would you have chanted how many times would you have studied how many times would you have reflected through taking classes how much manan must have but yet that tu word came into cognition after all the words got settled so it's a lot of internalization of the knowledge that is prime that will stay what will stay with you the sharir will go all this will go but what will stay that repetitive thought will stay so that's the whole idea you know how not to make it too extroverted just enough that it inspires us keeps us binded together and helps us to grow individually that's right okay everyone so thank you we'll see you tomorrow thank you and if there's any other question yes uh, definitely i think i've covered almost all that i can see that do i get to thank you dipti ji thank you dipti ji hari om one question dipti ji anji we were talking about that when i am asleep and my partner is seeing the glass and he might drink the water and in the morning i'll see the water is gone so can we say i mean it was his creation it was his uh, mithya where he drank the water and when i am awake we share the creation but the time i am sleeping i am not contributing to that creation correct yes see when you wake up and you see the glass was empty you did not see him drink so what is a thought process this is how nyaya darshan will help you know why vedanta was one of the last darshanas because how through nyaya you get the causational capacity to think it is an inference you are drawing but nobody else could have come in the room only my partner was with me in my room therefore i am assuming it's an assumption it is obviously it's a assumption which is 99.9% clear true but there is no way to say it is 100% your experience so when you are both awake now what is bringing us both into this creation what is a common factor 
Where we with our set of family and with our set of people, we wake up to the same set of people. And suddenly one day, one of us may not be awake. So what is determining this, that we are together? Our prarabdha. That's the collective karma. That's our collective karma. That is the prarabdha, yes. Individual prarabdha and the collective. So there has to be an environment karma. There has to be an environment which is actually individually. It has nothing to do with the two. It is individually we are uh, finding that environment conducive for our growth. Also, the because whoever doesn't find obviously has no need to continue in today's world, especially. So, Deepthi ji, when we wake up, we remember that we had like a full glass of water. I don't know how we remember it, but we remember that we, that bottle or that water, that glass was full. So, that is also ah. something which is very amazing. Ah, exactly. Actually, the technical term for it, uh, yes. You see that idea that it was a full glass of water. It is a stored memory in the light of a continuity that I feel I am still there. So that is just a memory. It's an information that your mind has the capacity to store information. And then I am there is the continuity. I saw, I felt, so all of that is my stored memory. Sure, yes. It's just actually just memory, that's all. And it has no existence. Memory has no existence. That is why we say there was no past. It is all memory based and memory is just dead occupying space there is hardly any need for anything which is useful in the present okay, so we will end here thank you Dipti ji